Okay, so we've got another navigation challenge. Again, the task is to look at the photograph and see if we can work out where that was taken on the map. And it's an exercise in looking at the contour lines, trying to make sense of those um, and make them come to life, really, and understand what they look like in the landscape. So let's have a closer look at the map. We'll start with the photograph, actually. So what can we see? We've got a pond directly ahead of us and then beyond that stretching out to the distance we've got um, flat ground and then it starts to rise quite significantly to a flat plateau looking left to right on the left hand side as we look we've got some very obvious rocky ground that drops away steeply and then less steeply on the right hand side of the plateau a little bit more rocky ground and drops away but not quite as steeply and then that's obscured by a hill with some rocks on it on the um, flank of it as we look and between that and us is flat ground so we're looking for a big flat plateau with a rocky area distinctive rocky area on one side and a less distinctive rocky area on the other so where's the high ground? Well, looking at the contours, all this area drops to the north there with high ground here, five nine high five, and it drops away again to the south of the map. Got some high ground here, flat plateau drops away eastwards, flat plateau here that drops away on all sides, south, north, and east. And we've got a rocky area here that's disappearing off the map. So our flat plateaus are there or across there, and the little one in there, 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 and there. Possibly a flat area in there and in there. So those are all areas of flat ground, but we're looking for areas of flat ground that are the highest point that drop away on the left hand side as we look on the right hand side. And there's also some very obvious rocky ground on the left as we look at it. So areas of obvious, obvious rocky ground. Well, here we've got the Griner stones, rocky. We've got the Barrow stones here, rocky. We've got round hill here, rocky. So could we be looking at the barrow stones and the grinder stones? Well, if we were looking from that direction, the ground is flat. It doesn't rise up ahead of us, so we can discount that. If we were looking But round hill on left and barrow stones on the right. Well, that's not flat all the way between them because it rises up from this area here up to barrow stones. So we can discount that. Could we be looking across here between grinder stones and round hill? We could, and we could actually be looking up to that area there. So, what about the pond? Well, if we look back on the photograph, this pond may only be 10 metres across, in which case it's not really significant enough to put on a map. I'd always be looking for the permanent features that are going to be there in 50 years or were there 50 years or 100 years ago. And I'm pretty sure that that flat high plateau is a real permanent feature that's not going to disappear after a long period of dry weather. So always look for the, the permanent landscape features. So the answer to the challenge is that the photograph was taken from there, looking over to the flat plateau between Griner stones and Barrow stones. And the rocky areas that we can see are, we've got that area there, 
dropping away steeply to the left as we look. We've got a rocky area there. And then we've got this rocky hill a bit closer to us as we look. And the photograph was taken from that point there. So I hope you got that one correct. Um, if you didn't, don't worry. Um, I hope you can just make sh make sense of the contours now and it is a little bit more clear to you. If you enjoyed it, keep looking out for more. I'll post some more of these navigation challenges.